So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your headlight bulbs and your Dodge Caliber. This one's a 2008. Hey guys, I'm Jordan, and you're watching Facebook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot lid. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happens to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. And for today's project, you'll need a flathead screwdriver and a pair of surgical gloves may also be useful as well. You can do without them, but it may be helpful. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, now first I'll show you how to do your driver's side bulb, then I'll kind of show you the technique for your passenger side bulb. So the first thing we're going to want to do over here is we've got these two little things, you're going to spin them left and that'll let you pull this thing up, and then this thing just slides out and we'll just set them off to the side. Next, we're going to locate our bulb, which is going to be that guy right there where you see the wire coming off. That's your bulb, we're going to spin him out and replace him. Okay guys, now the trick here is we're going to take our left hand, reach in there, and there's going to be a little tab, there'll be two tabs, and we're going to reach with our finger and grab the left tab and we're going to push up, because we're lefty loosing our bulb out, so I'm going to push up and then I'll be able to grab a hold of the bulb and pull them right out, like so, and then we'll pull them up through here. Alright, the next thing you want to do when you've got your bulb exposed here is you want to turn it around and find your red little tab. Now you can either take your fingernail and reach in there and pop it back or you can take a flathead screwdriver and kind of wedge it back there. And when you do that, you'll be able to begin trying to remove your plug here. And the way I found the easiest way to do this is to take your flathead screwdriver, just get in there and kind of prime and then we're going to come around to the other side. I'm going to reach in there and oh, um, keep on prying and then we should be able to come around to the front and then pop them off. There we go. Now you'll just be able to pull it off and that's the way you go about removing your plug. Now I'll show you the next step. Now when you've got your brand new bulb, be real careful to not actually touch the glass piece there because the oils on your finger can make the bulb go out when it gets hot. So it's a good idea to wear gloves or just be really careful. So we're going to push it in here. You'll see it snaps on. Then you'll push that red piece down. You can see there. And now we're ready to reinstall the bulb. Now, once you've got your new bulb installed on your little thing there, we're just going to reach back in here. And I'm sorry guys, you can't see, but hopefully you got a good idea when we're taking it out. You're going to stick them in there and the wire will kind of remember the way it was sitting. And you'll reach in there and you'll twist until you have the bulb secure. So that's how you'll install the bulb. Now I'll tell you about the technique for removing your other bulb. Okay guys, for your passenger side bulb, what we'll do is we're going to reach our right hand down and our left hand and you'll kind of look something like that. And with your pointy finger, you are going to push up. No, I'm sorry, you're going to push down. And with your left index finger, you're going to pull up, because remember, we have those two tabs there. So your left finger, you're going to pull up, right finger, you're going to push down. So you're going to be doing that motion right there. And then you'll be able to pull it up, get your bulb out, and put it back in. So that's pretty much it. That's how you go about replacing those bulbs. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos, which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and I will see you then.